Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to a very special night. Uh, I want to thank uh, HowlRound TV. I called BJ when we were planning this and said, you, you know, we've worked with you a lot with very, very important questions about theater, and we're just going to celebrate tonight. We're going to celebrate John Osas. We're going to celebrate this opening. And before I could get the third reason, I wondered, he says, we're in, Philip. So, so here we are. Here we are. And I'm here with my favorite human on the planet, teacher, mentor, friend, adopted father, to, uh, to celebrate one of our favorite theater directors and to also honor some of the most, three of the most prolific American theater people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jim Nicola, uh, Rob Orchard, and Molly Smith. I was here uh, Monday a week ago at Molly's salon, and at one point um, they asked each other, what's the future of American theater? And they both agreed that it's time for us to look beyond these borders to see ourselves in a, a global fellowship, um, and that's what this night is celebrating. So I hope you enjoy it. We're going to be back in 15 or 20 minutes and present the first uh, annual, I hope it will be annual, Kwan Ye Arno Global uh, Appreciation to uh, Jim and Rob and Molly. Uh, and it's, it really touches me to, play, to have my name associated with it. And it was my mentor that I introduced you to, and it was both of our mothers. So enjoy this wonderful night tonight. We're certainly enjoying it here. Cameras on you. I'm just looking at you. Well, it means it's an honor to be honored, of course. You know, what could be, what could be more delightful, you know, when you, you, know, you spend a lot of time in, in, in the global world. And, uh, and it's nice to have it recognized. And it's nice to have organizations like the Trust for Mutual Understanding acknowledged as well. Um, you've been a lot of, you know, made a lot of good decisions and had really spawned a lot of good collaborations. So. It's great. It's great to be in D.C. on a sunny day with the, you know, with the blossoms just about to pop. Right, yeah. right. And what does it mean to see Janusz's work? I mean, you. Yeah, I mean, you really, you really champion him. Yeah, I mean, I, I gave him his first project in the states. Yep. Um, Which was? Uh, it was uh, a revival of his Mother Courage. Mother Courage. Yeah, that he did in in Budapest. I remember sitting at that production and thinking. Okay, we gotta get that. And then I started casting it with the company. <laughs> so I was always gonna play Mother Courage, you know, and you had it all get it all lined up. Um, and uh, and then he was the resident director for a while. He did yeah. five projects with us and he was also head of our little training institute. You know, that partnership with the Moscow Art Theater. Um, which is needless to say on hold. Um, but uh, just a wonderful artist, great human being. Um, it's a privilege to be around. Yeah. yeah. The actors love being in rehearsal with him. You know? Oh, he's yeah. the best. Yeah. So, the best. It's, it's, it was. It was great. It was. It was just wonderful.
He's the only Hungarian director I've worked with. Um, I've heard a lot of Polish and many Romanian directors and a number of Russian directors. Um, and he it was always trouble. When I first met him, you know, it was things were bubbling up in bad ways. Yeah. In Hungary. Um, and he, you know, he had his antenna, you know, well aimed. Um, and it was, it was great to give him that opportunity to come to the States and begin to create a foundation for him. Changed every, I mean, you changed so many, yeah. so many people's lives, I think, by yeah. bringing him here. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you changed the way I saw the theater. So anyway. let's, we'll now let Philip come up. He looks okay, like sure. he's found someone. <laughs> Hi, hey. John Strauss who was uh, my assistant many years ago. Is, is a very accomplished writer, and uh, we're doing a little secret project together. People have bugged me about, will I ever write a book? And the answer was no. I was too busy doing it, but I'm writing so, a book. Well, it's not secret now. <laughs> <laughs> you just ended the secret. Ah, oh, it's great to be here. It's great to be here. It's great to be working with him. He's got a lot of amazing stories to tell. And the thing that always impressed me about Philip is that you know, he was an actor, he was a director, he was a producer, but he self-invented, I think, being an instigator on an international level, an instigator of theater and dance and performance in general. And, uh, and the way he did that was to bring people together one by one, which is it's just totally amazing to me that he's had the energy and the insight and the inspiration to keep doing that all this time. So I'm very pleased to be here. Jim Nicole is receiving one of the awards tonight. Now, we go way back. <laughs> Uh, sure do. Yeah. We've had many, many, many long deep talks. In the summer, in the summer. In the summer. I was trying to remember, remember when I maybe first heard about you. Before I met you, long before I met you, I knew of you. Tom and I were in Berlin. This weekend to see a bunch of work. And certainly it was the theater project. And I think I really focused on you with the whole NEA thing. Would that be 80, 81? No, 90. Wow. Yeah, but I knew you before. I knew of you before that. And he and I were talking about about this award? Oh, well, I actually think this award and this event are truly, even though there are honorees like me and my colleagues, Rob and Molly, it's really honoring this guy who has um, changed the world and changed my world specifically. Um, over decades, and I, 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 I say that and it sounds so uh, banal, but it's profound what this man's impact has been. Uh, and I'm just speaking personally now, I'm not even going to try <clears throat> to address him in the world. But I've been talking to a friend of mine about who writes musicals. One of the things I'm has stuck with me is thinking about uh, Helen Shaw, the theater critic for The New Yorker, wrote a sentence saying, the most dangerous place to be is in a theater seat. And I don't think I ever really completely appreciated that until this man took me on and changed my life. Thank you very much. Ah, this is, I know who you are. This is Igor. Igor. Going out goes out. Ukrainian board, right? board direct, yeah. Who uh, just did a wonderful benefit for us in uh, Lincoln Center, and I'll be going up to Boston with the Maker Family. Yes, yes. So, we're live streaming. Oh, great. <laughs> what would you like to tell people about 
I'm uh, very excited about uh, the work that uh, Mr. Arnaud is doing in bringing people together and, and sharing the voices of, uh, in, in the time of war of these Ukrainian playwrights that are kind of throwing plays at uh, the tyrants in, the, in Russia. Um, on one hand, very fruitless, but another, on another hand, provides hope that is very much needed today. I don't know. I'll ask. Thank right. you. Thank you. Um, if it is. <laughs> Michael Hurley, we're so happy to be here. Can you tell us a little bit about your perch at the State, formerly at the State Department, and why this kind of international exchange is so important? Right. Um, well, I worked for the State Department for 30 years. I'm now retired, and um, much of that time I was a public diplomacy officer and responsible for educational exchanges, professional exchanges, and that sort of thing. And um, I mean, just in a word, uh, there's nothing like seeing it with your own eyes. This is why we bring people to this country so they can you know, see this crazy country that we live in and, and judge for themselves what some of the reality is. Yeah. That's certainly the, my primary take. And it applies to all different professions. And what was your first encounter with Mr. Arnold? Because um, you two are sort of partners in crime. Partners in crime, the infamous Philip Arnold uh, and I worked together in Moscow. Um, I put together a, a huge festival, a celebration of culture in the United States that traveled all over um, Russia and from 20, 2011 to 2012. And, uh, things like the Chicago Symphony with the Muti and Etc. Etc. Philip's part of it was to um, put together a series of plays that were then translated uh, for the stage in Russia. Mm -hmm. And to this day, uh, some of those plays are still playing in regional theaters in Russia. Um, perhaps with the current political situation a little less so, but uh, I mean up to the up to the time of the Ukraine invasion. Surely you could still see uh, some of the, and these are off-Broadway plays, not, you know, not the great historical plays, but the newer, newer playwrights. So, so it was a great, uh, great accomplishment that he made, he made possible, and we provided funding for. Him. You probably we did too. Yeah, you probably did too. Because we're sort of informal partners in crime as well. So. We did. Well, we did a couple. Of, you we and did. I did a couple of projects together. We did. We did. We did. Right. And, uh, I'm far too old to remember exactly which one. Listen, I'm falling behind you, so I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, the man himself. The man himself. Janus, I mean, yes. <laughs> you are state give on oh. Oh. That's, 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 that's all. I, I studied in the I studied it in It was difficult. I was in the Foreign Service working in the embassy in 2006 to 2009. And um, it's a great country. Politics of it was always yes. like curious to me. Yeah. Uh, 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 I wasn't very fan either. Tell us, we're curious. 
Hello. You, you want to say yeah. something? I'm very glad to be here with the pioneer. He's the pioneer of the theater and the, the big explorer of the Eastern Europeans, Philip Pano. 30 years ago we met. 30 years? Oh, no. It was, no, it is not 30 years. It was in 1999. 24 years. 24 years. Ago. 24 years. Ago. And I'm very glad. And I am very honored. Mother Paris in Budapest and Molly and Rob Orchard both came up to him afterwards and he came here to direct Streak on in Desire. That was an extraordinary performance. People still remember what happened here with this Streak on right now. Yeah. He's back tackling. Yeah, I'm very happy to be here. This is your fault, okay? No, Let's make a deal. Yeah, it's your fault. It's always your fault. <laughs> so I'm very, very happy. I'm absolutely happy. Well, I've been watching. I was here for the first table read. I've been to two rehearsals. And the whole time I was here, I never heard Janos refer to the actors as his uh, uh, cast. He always referred to them as his company. Yeah, it's a company. We created a company. In you know? ways. Yeah, I mean, yeah, four, five, three, two. Uh, uh, and you know, all the company. So we all know we would like to stay together somehow. Yeah, really. It, I'll it, travel it, anywhere to see it. I'll travel anywhere if except I can stay alive. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. So. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Share this uh, stage. This is my good friend, Will Wadsworth. When Will has signed the plaques that uh, we're getting, for um, giving out to the three of them. Uh, all these. Will was Martha's nephew, uh, his marvelous, Martha Cognier's nephew, and was her last caregiver. And when she had her second stroke, uh, and then, I said, you're the only one that can write about it. And I said, I, I, I can, I'm not a writer. And, She's, uh, Martha was incredible. She had a second stroke. She woke up from the stroke and said, is this my movie or is this is this your movie? <laughs> and but Martha was she's, my uh, never died. major mentor in town. Not only to have my name associated with her, but Will has been a dear friend for six or seven years now. I think uh, what we've been trying to do is she had a knack for theater people were her family. And she brought that feeling of closeness and intimacy and acceptance. And then, um, and we're just trying, oh, I'm so sorry. We're just trying to uh, continue that. We're trying to keep that momentum from Rosamund Gilder through Martha, through you, and then through the uh, into the next generation, so that we can have that alliance, a strong personal alliance between theater people, so they can uh, remember their mission, which is to connect with uh, each other around the world and to build a world community. So you'll see him with me on stage in a few minutes. Good to see you. I think Molly. Yes. 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 Yes.
Oops. Hello, fellow traveler. Oh, yeah, we're doing it. Hello. Uh, we've been to Hungary together. We've worked with Hungary. We've worked with incisively. Thank you. Hungary, I'm so glad you're here. Thanks, I'm glad you're here. We're live streaming. So. Okay. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> it's, um, shall I say, what an honor it is to be with Philip on his birthday? Celebrate and also to celebrate the recipients of the wonderful. Yeah, can't wait to see it. Thank you. Hi. Yes. Please sandwich, Molly. Come on, we get into here. Okay. Hi, Mark. <laughs> What do you want me to say? It's great. Uh, what you've done for so coming in here. I called up, I saw Mark Molly's work in Amsterdam the first time. Yeah. While you were still in uh, Alaska. And then when she took over a read, I called her up and she said, Oh, I've just made this big announcement. I'm doing American Blade. I said, well, I think it might be interesting to have you look at some of these directors that can give a different perspective. And she's had quite a history uh, with you. I know she, she's responsible single-handedly for getting him out of Hungary. He's now living in America, and I hope we'll have, um, you know, she's 65 now, and he's got many good years of creation left, too. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Well, congratulations tonight, too, Philip. It's great that you brought so many people in to honor this production. I really appreciate it that, you, that you've done that, that you've done that for Janusz, because we want to make sure he's got the best launch possible in this country. So congratulations on it, Barbara. No, it's all, it's yep. all you two. Yep. It's all you two. And thanks for the award. I feel really honored about it. Does it have both your names on it? No. Oh, cool. Okay, that's even better. And what? Real sons for family. Oh, that's great. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> my friend, my mentor, my surrogate 
father grandfather figure and just my family um, who is responsible whenever anybody says to me how did you do x how did you end up y i usually just say it's philip's fault so it's your fault we're here tonight so i'm going to hand it over to you so you can speak on behalf of yourself what i want to do is uh, tell you that this is an incredible uh, event, having others come here to this theater and to visit uh, a place that he came some 20 years ago and directed one of the most um, courageous performances of um, street gardening design. And then Molly took a lot of them coming on it. And at the same time, about half of the theater people in this town found it revelatory that they had really seen somebody who was thinking way outside the box. Um, I was in uh, Poland. Barbara was a Fulbrighter in Hungary, and I had a little extra money from the Trust for Mutual Understanding, and now she is the director, <laughs> and uh, brought her to It's his fault, me. I said it's his fault. <laughs> and to join me, and uh, the first thing we did is we sat down with Janos in a restaurant, first meeting we had, and Janos says, Philip, you've got to help me. Get me out of this country, and he opened his notebook and showed Signed that listed five homosexuals, Jews, and Bolsheviks in the arms, with a picture of him in that with you know, his family, and it was horrible. Um, we didn't, we weren't able to get him out then, and that was must have been 15 years ago, Jan. Um, now, when Molly really stepped in. And Molly and Suzanne gave him a place to live for three months, and he now is able to bring his own family here. I watched uh, this piece develop from the first reading table read to saw a couple of rehearsals. Not once did Janos talk about his cast. He always used the term, my company. And the real celebration tonight is this man's great artistry. Thank you, Yanosh. Thank you, Peter. My mentor uh, was Martha Parga, who I loved. Uh, who was a partner uh, and who I worked with for most of 40 years. Uh, when Martha died, uh, I was asked if I would write her book. I didn't write a book. Her nephew and caregiver, Will Wadsworth, ended up writing a really important five volume history of theater in the Cold War. And when I am really represented, I got to meet more of the Wadsworth family. And I got to, to speak with them about how much she meant to the world. And I think sometimes people in their own family didn't quite get it all. Uh, and so, uh, we've uh, got these awards. Can I have them, please? Uh, can I give, I'd like to ask the first award is going to a dear, dear friend for over 25 years, uh, the founder of the longtime director of the uh, New York Theater Workshop. We've traveled together. Uh, 
also has provided me with extraordinary time. Um, but I'm thinking about someone who I met and engaged with who is a, uh, a shaman, I would say, in my life, uh, Garland Wright, a wonderful, wonderful director, no longer with us. Um, but he told me one day that a um, little boy from, a little gay boy from Eisenhower, Texas, um, that everything he understood about life, being human, history, art, everything, ideas, psychology, he learned in a theater seat. And that really, really stuck with me because I think it's the same for me. Um, and what happened with the man next to me? You know, I guess we can keep going. Uh, or not the building side, but yeah. Okay. Um, I grew up in the frame of American theater, and particularly American musical theater, because that's what was available. <clears throat> and then this man, in 1995, I was 40-ish, <laughs> invited me to participate in a, an exchange program with the Dutch, and it was my Foot, you know, I had studied in school in London for two years. But, you know, English theater, American theater, we have a lot of differences, but we're very basically the same. It's a literary form. And when I got to the Netherlands, I realized, oh, <laughs> this is about the director. Um, and there were so many things that were revelations to me. And it was, it just happened to be that it was the Dutch. I think if I'd gone to, um, Brazil, uh, I would have had the similar experience of, of eyes opened and um, the art expanded for me. And I think it changed everything for me as a leader uh, of an organization. Um, I felt it was important to uh, <clears throat> make an effort to get American artists out of their environments and have the experience I had and for other artists to come in as well. So all of that is Philip, he changed my life Thank you, Philip, and happy birthday. <laughs> and thank you for this. I almost had to put Bob Marchand as a mentor um, for me. The incredible journey Rob had that went through the center of some of the most important theater, looking beyond our borders for decades, first at Yale and at Harvard with Bernstein. Uh, and when he retired, he got pulled out of retirement and created the Arts Emerson Project and instructed this hour on TV is something that Bob was instrumental in making a piece of Arts Emerson. Uh, he was always willing to listen to me, and he always gave me incredibly good advice. Rob, I thank you very much and present you with a wonderful day. Thank you, my friend. Um, you know, this is the first of many, I hope, uh, Martha Coyne and Philip Arnaud 
awards. Um, I think this evening should be about them. Um, they're the catalysts for all of what we've done in this room. Um, I wouldn't have met Yana Sanz if it wasn't for you. Um, among other, multiple other great artists from Poland. You're the only great artist from Hungary I know, but I'm sure there are others. <laughs> Many. Yeah. Um, you know, I've been doing this for a while. The first international project I did was at Yale. Um, it was an adaptation of Dostoevsky's The Possessed um, by and directed by um, the great Polish film director and stage director, Andrzej Weidel. And we did it with um, Meryl Streep and with Christopher Lloyd. And when I think back on that, I think, oh, wow, it's downhill from there. <laughs> But it, we, we kept at it, um, primarily because we worked with the resident company and we performed the rotating repertory, and we had times in the year at the ART where we didn't have access to a theater, so we just went someplace as we traveled. It was an effort to keep the company employed, uh, to stimulate them with doing their work in front of different audiences and different cultures, and they were mostly festivals. So we had an opportunity to see work from elsewhere in the world to get to know great artists, great directors. Um, and we went to 15 countries on four continents, oftentimes multiple times over the course of 35 years. Um, and then, um, as I got to know many great directors through Philip's kind nudging, um, over the course of those 35 years, we did eight, 85 productions directed by these great foreign artists, um, and uh, they became part of our family. Um, they still are. Um, and uh, there's something about the collaboration that comes about with an artist coming from one culture, uh, moving into another culture, and the adaptation that has to go on, the negotiation, I mean that in the most generous sense, an embrace of those differences, um, that creates work that I think breaks through the comfort zones and the conventional barriers of not only aesthetics in this country, but also structures. Um, and, uh, and you move to another level. Um, and it is a struggle. Um, I think great art, the best art comes from a struggle. If everything is comfortable, you know, the third week of a rehearsal period, well, for most most you know artists in Europe, the third week is they're still around the table. <laughs> they're not on their feet. Um, the struggles are, are the important part, and that's where the breakthroughs come through. And I've I've been blessed to have been part of some of these struggles, and I mean that in the most positive sense. Um, and it's been it's been the great great you know blessing for me. So thank you. My first song Molly's work in Amsterdam, and it was not the work we were going to stage. It was the work of her Alaskan company of Perseverance. And when she came to Washington, I called her up and asked her to get on the flight of the plane. And she said, What about just announced a great commitment to the American theater with this theater. And uh, we had breakfast and we talked and the rest, as they say. It's history. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put this here because I actually have a speech. It's not a long speech, a short speech. Can I scoot over just a little bit sure. so I can get next to the mic? I don't want you to step off the back of that. No, if you just scoot it that way. Always the director, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so great and such a pleasure to see everybody here tonight. It really is a thrill to see so many faces that I've known for so many years. 
and people who have been doing this kind of deep, dangerous, difficult work in the world. You know, we called it for a while a way to work culturally in a whole different way and a way to uh, work tying countries together. And I absolutely loved Martha Cognier and I love Philip Arnaud. So receiving an award with their names on it is a great honor for me. Years ago when I was at Perseverance Theater in Alaska, the company I started, she sent me to Latin and South America to meet with artists. And while on the trip, we traveled to Mexico, Colombia, Argentina, and Brazil. It was a remarkable trip with people like Renee Bush, John Dillon, and we met with writers, soap opera film stars, who uh, demanded to get more money from us in terms of their work as artists. So it was very difficult to explain to them that we didn't actually have anything to do with their union. Uh, entrepreneurs, uh, puppet makers, and yes, those relationships were formed. And we then did a new adaptation of Jose Donoso's Obscene Bird of Night, uh, adapted by Derek Cloud and produced both at Perseverance Theater in Alaska and then again at Trinity Rep. It was a wild and life-changing experience. And later she sent me to Japan for another life-changing experience. So with Philip, I've traveled to Hungary with both Jim Nicola, Rob Orchard, twice into Russia, which included being kidnapped in a taxi with Suzanne and uh, asked us the story because it is one of the great stories of the American theater. And also how we got out of the taxi is a fascinating story. But what you will see tonight is really the outcome of one of these trips because I wanted to bring in a European director who would be able to interpret our American work in a very, very different way than our American artists. And in Hungary, Suzanne and I saw an absolutely brilliant production of Mother Courage. And Janusz probably remembers this, but I think he was, he seemed a little bored and a little bit of an auteur when he and I met. I remember we were sitting having coffee and he had his legs crossed and he was kind of, whatever, it's just American. Um, and then, <laughs> all right, you can respond to me. Uh, but now he is uh, family to me, with his family, the whole family, our family to me, and to Suzanne. Uh, we brought you on a show, uh, Rena to Rex Streetcar Named Desire. You heard what Philip said. It was absolutely one of the best productions I had ever seen, and it rocked this theater. And it rocked this city because people had such divergent viewpoints, Marty, you remember, of that production. Over 20 years later, he's back with us with Angels in America. It is a fever dream of a production with deep and dangerous acting, and it takes us into the heart of Kushner's drama. And uh, 30 years later, all of a sudden, we have this fantastic reinvention of it. I'm so happy to be here with you tonight. Janusz, uh, I am thrilled you all are going to see the work on stage. And Philip, thank you, because Philip, as you all know, is one of the great internationalists. And uh, thank you for recognizing me for this Lifetime Achievement Award. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. No, 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 no. It might be that you're the director of all this, but I remember Jim Nicola saying something at the end of his talk. It was in passing. He said, happy birthday. Yeah. Right? Oh, look what we have here. So Philip's birthday is coming up. It'll be at 82. And so we wanted to uh, have a little song, a little... little Going out of the candles, sir. So, happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear fellow! Happy birthday to you! Woo
You're all getting pissed. The timing is <laughs> at the interval. Let's go upstairs and see some art. Let's go see some art. But there's one point. So if you have your prepaid drink ticket, you can walk past the concession stand and place your order on the way into the theater, and it will be waiting for you. Add intermission the exact drink that you order. How cool is that? So I suggest you do it. Thanks, everyone. Happy birthday, Philip. Love you.